on television these days. They tend to make people feel very uncomfortable. And yet government seeks fit to pour millions of dollars into these tough love advertising campaigns against smoking. Well, tonight we're not talking about big tobacco, but about big abortion. And the tables are completely turned. In fact, Planned Parenthood receives hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars each year in order to flood the market with contraceptives and to preach its gospel of safe sex to young people. Now, invariably, or inevitably, this leads to failed contraception and ultimately abortion as a last resort method of birth control. Now, this is the business model of big abortion. And it is a very successful model, I might add. But even with this huge advantage in funding, big abortion is still starting to lose customers. Why? Because it is simply no longer able to compete in the free market exchange of ideas. No one believes today, in this age of science and technology, that the fetus is a mere blob of tissue, in the face of mountains of empirical evidence, big abortion can no longer deny the real and harmful effects of abortion, physical, mental, and psychological damage to women that can last a lifetime. And so what is big abortion to do? Its only option is to bully and intimidate free speech, free ideas. Now, the intent of the bill in question tonight is to do precisely that. And it does it in a sneaky way by introducing new prohibitions that are intentionally vague and undefined. The problem is that the average person will not know what is illegal in a specific situation. And it raises the specter of unpredictable prosecution. Vague and ambiguous laws like this one violate constitutional due process and they are subject to abuse through selective enforcement of the law. And therefore, I urge you, honorable legislators, to see this bill for what it is, a clever attempt by big abortion and its government surrogates to unfairly tip the balance of law in its own favor for the sake of liberty, for the sake of free speech, and for the sake of the women and men who deserve full information in making their decisions for all their sakes, please reject the bill.